What is a sealed class in Java? After Java 17, it is possible to declare a class that can be inherited by only a specific subclasses. We call it a sealed class. Before this feature have been arised, inheritance was an all or nothing situation. It means that a class could either be extended by any subclass or marked as final which prevent its inheritance entirely. Seed classes fall between these two extremes because they enable you to specify precisely what subclasses a superclass will allow. Also, it is possible to declare a sealed interface in which you specify only those classes that implement the interface and or those interfaces that extend the sealed interface. We will discuss about sealed interface in our next video. In order to declare a sealed class, you should add sealed keyword. Then after the class name, include a permits clause that specifies the allowed subclasses. Both sealed and permits are context sensitive keywords that have a special meaning only in a class or interface declaration. Outside of a class or interface declaration, sealed and permits are unrestricted and have no special meaning. Before going to our example, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I want to ask you to subscribe my channel and also give me a like to encourage me making more videos. Thank you. Here, the sealed class is called sample sealed class. It allows only two subclasses, first and second. Please notice that both first and second class are specified as final. In general, a subclass of sealed class must be declared as either final, sealed, or non-sealed. In this example, each subclass is declared final. This means that the only subclasses of sample sealed class are first and second, and no subclasses of either of those can be created. Therefore, the inheritance chain ends with first and second classes. If a class is specified in a permits clause for a sealed class, then that class must directly extend the sealed class. Otherwise, a compile time error will result. So, a sealed class and its subclasses define a mutually dependent logical unit. If any other class attempts to inherit sample sealed class, a compile time error will occur. Additionally, it is illegal to declare a class that does not extend a sealed class as non-sealed. To indicate that a subclass is itself sealed, it must be declared sealed and its permitted subclasses must be specified. For example, here it permits third class. Of course, the class third must then itself be declared either sealed, final, or non-sealed. You can use unseal a subclass of a sealed class by declaring it non-sealed. This context-sensitive keyword was added by Java 17. It unlocks the subclass, enabling it to be inherited by any other class. Now, any class may inherit second class. However, the only direct subclasses of sample seed class remain first and second. A primary reason for non-sealed is to enable a superclass to specify a limited set of direct subclasses 
that provide a baseline of well-defined functionality but allow those subclasses to be freely extended. A key requirement of a sealed class is that every subclass that it permits must be accessible. Furthermore, if a sealed class is contained in a named module, then each subclass must also be in the same named module. In this case, a subclass can be in a different package from the sealed class. If the sealed class is in the unnamed module, then the sealed class and all permitted subclasses must be in the same package. Thank you.